Hello and welcome to a video where we're going to be looking at how you deal with the math side of lens power equations, uh, lens power questions in your physics GCSE. So these are the rules that I like all of my students to follow when we're doing math questions in class. Um, if you haven't seen these before, what I suggest you do is go back and look at one of my previous videos where I go through and explain everything fully. But just briefly, whenever I do math questions in class, whenever I set them, I um, mark them out for the first mark is for the formula, the second mark is for the working, the third mark is for doing the maths, and the fourth mark is for getting the correct units. So this is the equation that we're going to be using. So F is for the focal length, and this is measured in metres, and P is for the lens power. This is not electrical power, this is measured lens power and it's measured in dioptrons. And the symbol is a D. So just to remind you there are two different types of lenses, a converging lens and a diverging lens. A converging lens is going to have a positive power and a diverging lens is going to have a negative power. So here our lens has a focal length of 0 0.05 meters. Power equals one over the focal length. So equals one divided by 0 0.05. So the power of this lens is 20 diopters. So this is the question we have in front of us. Um, circle our numbers, and that is the focal length. Now, focal length is normally measured in metres, so the first thing we need to do is convert 40 centimetres into metres, and we do that by dividing it by 100. So 40 centimetres equals 0.4 metres. So power equals 1 divided by 0.4. So the power, the power of this lens is going to be 2.5 diopters. So here is the other way around. We have the um, power and we need to find the focal length. So power equals 1 over the focal length. Power is 17. That equals 1 over the focal length. A bit rearranging. 17f equals 1. So f equals 1 divided by 17. 1 divided by 17 equals 0 0.06 meters.